Hello everyone, my name is Taylor from Market Car, and today I've got a really interesting one for you. Did you know that the newest 992.2 Porsche 911 technically makes fewer horsepower than the model that came before it, the 992.1? Yes, technically it's true, and uh, let me explain. Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock for the past like four months, back in May of this year, Porsche announced the new 992.2 uh, version of their 911 sports car which is basically just a facelift of the 992.1 generation which came before it and of course they had to bump up the horsepower to make it a worthwhile upgrade but not only did they up the horsepower they also added a new engine into the 992.2 gts and uh, actually this engine seemed to be really cool it's called a t-hybrid engine basically instead of using regular turbos like the old engine it now uses this like e-turbo which is an electric turbo which kind of sounds like a supercharger to be honest but it's uh instead of being connected uh by belt to the engine it's just connected by electricity and that's why it's not a supercharger it's an e-turbo anyway there was a lot of hype around this t-hybrid engine it seemed pretty cool at first glance uh but here i'm uh, i'm actually gonna be the bearer of bad news and tell you it's not as great as it seems and by the way i hate to do this i i'm really excited uh i love the new the new look of the car it's really cool but the 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 power it just doesn't like add up let me show you just before i get into the gts i want to just quickly cover the regular 992.2 carrera it still has the same three liter engine that the old 992.1 carrera had so it's a three liter twin turbo and it got like a six horsepower increase or something it's basically negligible it doesn't matter at all uh, but the gts is the interesting engine one all right so 992.1 gts so this is the old model it made 473 horsepower it made 570 newton meters of torque and and 420 foot pounds okay so now the 992.2 gts here we go 534 horsepower right 569 newton meters and the same 420 foot pounds of torque so first glance it seems like the torque is unchanged pretty disappointing and it seems like it only makes around 61 horsepower more than the previous engine now i say only you know 61 horsepower is kind of a big deal even at the 500 horsepower mark but in just a second i'll show you why that is not really impressive and why i believe that this engine needed to get a lot more horsepower than it did so just before i tell you what's wrong with this small increase i want to let you know of the displacement of this and the old engine so the old engine was a three liter flat six or a boxer six, but this new engine is a 3.6 liter flat six boxer six. So they increased the displacement by 0.6 liters or 600 milliliters. And another thing to keep in mind is this is absolutely not the 992.1 turbo engine, which was I believe uh, 3.75 liters. And we know this because it has a completely different bore and stroke from those two engines. To give some credit to Porsche, this truly is like a new engine. Whereas before in the 992.1 generation, the turbo engine was just a Carrera engine with 11 millimeters of increased bore. Okay, so here we go. Why is the new T-Hybrid GTS engine so underpowered? Well, when you're measuring horsepower, there's this uh, thing called specific output. I learned it from the Driving for Answers channel. Great channel, I uh, love that guy, check it out. In specific horsepower output, it just means horsepower per liter, per liter of displacement, right? And I think you might already see where the problem is, right? So the old engine made 473 horsepower, but it only had a displacement of three liters, which means that the specific power output for the 992.1 GTS engine is 159 horsepower per liter while for the 992 gts engine it's actually 149 horsepower per liter so that is 10 horsepower per liter less than the old engine and that's obviously because the new engine makes 534 horsepower but it has that increased uh engine capacity that 3.6 liters so those 600 milliliters of displacement go against it in this uh, equation and actually it gets even worse for the t-hybrid engine if, if that was possible. So earlier I mentioned that the new engine makes the same 570 newton meters of torque, 420 foot pounds, but that's actually incorrect. That's what it says on Wikipedia, but technically it's incorrect and here's why. So as you know, the 992.2 GTS engine actually has like a hybrid built into the engine because the 992.2 GTS is a hybrid. It comprises of the electric engine and the internal combustion engine. Now for the internal combustion engine, the torque is the same. It's 570 newton meters, 420 foot pounds, but because of the electric motor it actually gets an additional 40 newton meters or 30 foot pounds of torque just from the electric motor but you guessed it it also gets an additional 55 horsepower from the electric motor 
which we have to then subtract from the original horsepower figure of 534, which means that the T-hybrid electric turbo great engine that Porsche made actually makes 478 horsepower, which is exactly five horsepower more than the 992.1 generation GTS, which made 473 horsepower. And as you might've guessed, this means that the horsepower per liter output without the electric engine is even worse. So the 992.1 GTS had 159 horsepower per liter. The 992.2 GTS with the electric motor had 149 horsepower per liter. And now the 992.2, just the internal combustion engine has 133 horsepower per liter. That's a decrease of 26 horsepower per liter over the old engine. And technically it does get even worse for the 992.2 Carrera GTS. You see, because it has that electric motor, the car is now heavier. And how much heavier? It's actually only around 50 kilograms heavier or 110 pounds, which might not seem like a lot. And honestly, it kind of isn't. But there's another cool metric that we can use, which is called horsepower per ton or power to weight ratio. And it doesn't bode well for the 992.2. GTS. Okay, so 992.1 GTS, the power to weight ratio was 297 horsepower per ton. Okay, and now the 992.2 GTS, it is 325 horsepower per ton, which is a substantial increase, you know, 28 horsepower per ton, it's something. But then if you count only the internal combustion engine, it drops down to 291 horsepower per ton, which is exactly six horsepower per ton less than the original 992.1. Now, to be fair, this is kind of a pointless exercise and calculation because the weight in the power to weight ratio also includes the weight of the electric engine, uh, which we're not counting. So I guess it's not that bad. And in reality, this actually leads to a 0 0.03 second decrease in zero to 60 time. So the 992.1 GTS does it in 3.3 seconds and the 992.2 GTS does it in three seconds flat. So it is actually faster and actually quite a bit to 200 kilometers an hour. I guess from that additional 40 Newton meters and uh, the 60 horsepower. Okay, so the main question, if all of this is true, why is Porsche limiting the horsepower output of their brand new engine? Wouldn't they want to make this seem like the next new thing, like the best engine ever created? <laughs> well, I actually have three theories and uh, it's a mix of all of them, kind of. Okay, so theory number one is that Porsche is just underreporting their horsepower numbers. And uh, they don't want it to be like too big of a jump from one generation to the other. So they're only giving the GTS like a 61 horsepower boost. That's kind of enough. It would maybe overshadow the older cars if it made like 200 horsepower more. <clears throat> the second theory, which I think is less probable, but also a bit true, is that the new e-turbo technology is just not that great as Porsche makes it out to be. And it is it is revolutionary, but it's not that big of an increase in performance. And that two turbos, two regular turbos, are actually kind of the same as one e-turbo. Still very impressive, but it doesn't really increase the horsepower that much. And uh, that's why they had to upsize the engine so that the single e-turbo could actually make more horsepower than the three liter twin turbo. Or reason number three, this same 3.6 liter engine is going to be used in the 992.2 turbo and turbo S, and it's gonna make 700 horsepower uh, with the same 55 horsepower electric engine, which means that in reality, this 478 horsepower engine is actually capable of producing like 650 horsepower. And uh, I think that also might be uh, a very real possibility. And if you wanna learn more about the upcoming 992.2 models, uh, especially the Turbo and the Turbo S, which are rumored to have two E-Turbos, which sounds pretty good, as we mentioned, 650 horsepower, hello. Um, then uh, leave a comment below, I'll make another video. Uh, I really love discussing Porsche stuff like this and uh, I'm very glad to have you in my bathroom today and uh, <laughs> I hope you learned something from this and if you want me to discuss the rumors about the new 992.2 uh, GT3 Turbo Turbo S and Carrera S models, uh, as I said, leave a comment below. Also, just as a spoiler, the 992.2 Carrera S is actually gonna have the same T-hybrid e-turbo engine, and it's gonna make less horsepower, even less than this GTS. So that's going to be uh, really fun to talk about, I guess. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.